If we approach the speed of light, let's embark together on a spaceship that accelerates away from Earth, gaining speed faster and faster. What would we observe during this constant acceleration? What optical effects would emerge? And if we attempted to surpass the speed of light by warping space-time, as depicted in sci-fi movies, what visual phenomena might unfold? Answering these questions will guide us through numerous captivating aspects of our universe, plunging us deep into the principles of special and general relativity. Our spacecraft begins at rest during takeoff. Once launched, we start accelerating steadily, imagining a propulsion system that enables continuous acceleration for as long as we desire. As we pick up speed, we drift farther from Earth, accelerating ever more intensely. One might assume that such extreme velocities would become intolerable for our bodies, but that's not the reality. Velocity itself has no direct impact on us physically. Consider this analogy. When two trains pass each other, it's impossible to discern from sensation alone whether your train is stationary or the other one is. Likewise, inside our spaceship, we can't perceive its speed, only the acceleration. The Engine's thrust pushes us back into our seats, and as long as this force remains moderate, it stays perfectly manageable throughout the voyage, even as we near the speed of light. That said, ultra-high speeds do carry a significant hazard, collisions at relativistic velocities. Even a tiny speck of interstellar dust could inflict catastrophic damage upon impact. Fortunately, our vessel is outfitted with an advanced force field that deflects hazardous debris, allowing us to navigate space without worry. As acceleration builds, the first optical effect manifests, the aberration of light. The stars ahead, toward which we're hurtling, appear to gradually cluster and shift forward, compressing the sky in front of us. To grasp this, recall driving a car at high speed during a rainstorm. Rain falls straight down vertically, but from a moving vehicle, droplets splatter the windshield as if approaching head-on from the front. The faster you drive, the more the rain seems to slant forward aggressively. In our spaceship, a similar principle applies. Starlight arrives from specific directions, but our motion alters its apparent path, making rays seem to converge more from the bow of the ship. This is the aberration of light in action. Consequently, light intensifies ahead, brightening the forward view, while the rear sky expands and dims, creating a stark contrast. This aberration leads to yet another intriguing distortion. Envision traversing a vast, imaginary grid symbolizing the fabric of space-time. Normally, it would appear as a uniform lattice of straight lines, receding with standard perspective. But as we accelerate to relativistic speeds, the aberration warps this vista. Over time, the grid contracts sharply forward and its lines curve unnaturally. If we zip past a nearby object, it would seem subtly rotated toward our direction of travel, a phenomenon known as the terrell penrose rotation or penrose terrell effect. At near light speeds, images of objects compress longitudinally and perspective becomes profoundly skewed transforming the familiar into the surreal. We frequently hear that gazing deep into space is akin to peering into the past. This is true because light from a distant star must traverse immense distances, billions of kilometers, to reach us, and this propagation isn't instantaneous. Thus, we observe the star not as it exists now, but as it was when the light departed potentially millennia ago. Its current state remains a mystery. From our accelerating spaceship, this temporal aspect intensifies via the Doppler effect. As we recede from Earth, the planet's emitted light takes progressively longer to catch up. If we trained a powerful telescope on Earth, we'd witness events unfolding in apparent slow motion, people moving sluggishly, clocks ticking at a languid pace. This arises because each tick of Earth's clock stretches out in transmission to us, arriving in delayed waves. The light dims, and colors shift toward the red end of the spectrum, a redshift. Conversely, ahead of us, the opposite occurs. Our ship overtakes incoming starlight, compressing wavelengths. Stars brighten vividly, shifting toward blue, 
blue shift, and their apparent clocks race forward at an accelerated rate. With sensitive instruments, we could detect these aberration and Doppler shifts from the journey's outset. Yet, if we halted acceleration and returned to Earth, these effects would prove illusory. Mere artifacts of how light propagates and interacts with our motion, vanishing upon deceleration. Now, venturing into the realm of exceeding light speed via space-time bending, as in science fiction, like warp drives in Star Trek or hyperspace in Star Wars, draws us into general relativity. In theory, concepts like Alcubierre drives propose creating a bubble of warped space-time, contracting space ahead while expanding it behind, allowing effective superluminal travel without locally violating light speed. Visually, what might we see? Approaching such a warp, the forward star field could compress into a blinding, blue-shifted tunnel, with stars streaking radially outward due to extreme aberration. Behind, a red-shifted void might engulf the view as light struggles to enter the expanding region. At warp engagement, the universe could blur into a hyperspace-like haze with distorted, elongated star trails or even apparent backward-time glimpses from causality quirks. Though these are speculative, as no such technology exists, quantum effects might introduce shimmering horizons or hawking radiation glows at the warp bubble's edges. If instabilities arise, visual glitches like gravitational lensing could bend distant galaxies into rings or arcs around us. Ultimately, these phenomena highlight relativity's core, light speed as an unbreakable barrier in flat space, but potentially navigable via curvature, unlocking the universe's deepest wonders while reminding us of nature's elegant limits. As our journey progresses, after several hundred days of relentless acceleration, the ship's engines propel us ever closer to the speed of light. At these extreme velocities, the phenomena we encounter transcend mere optical illusions, evolving into profound, irreversible physical effects governed by the principles of special relativity. These real consequences reshape our understanding of time, space, and the very fabric of the universe. One of the most striking outcomes of special relativity is time dilation. Our cosmos is a vast four-dimensional continuum known as space-time, comprising three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension. Every object traces a path through this space-time, inexorably advancing toward its future. Prior to launch, our spacecraft shared Earth's trajectory, aligned in the forward march through time. But as we accelerate away, surging faster and farther from our home planet, our path in space-time diverges from Earth's. The temporal axis we experience no longer synchronizes with that of Earth's inhabitants. Should we choose to reverse course and return home, our onboard clocks would reveal a discrepancy. We would have aged less than those left behind. This isn't an illusion, but a fundamental reality, stemming from the differing trajectories we've etched through space-time. Time itself flows differently for observers in relative motion a counterintuitive truth that underscores the relativity of simultaneity. Another pivotal consequence is length contraction. When an object hurdles at velocities nearing the speed of light, its dimensions compress along the direction of travel. From our vantage inside the accelerating ship, it's the universe that appears to rush backward past us. Consequently, the cosmos contracts in the direction opposite our motion, shortening the apparent distance to our destination. This isn't a visual trick, but a tangible physical alteration. For instance, if our goal is a distant star, the journey's length would genuinely diminish as our speed increases, allowing us to cover vast expanses in far less time than classical physics would predict. Contrary to common myths, traversing thousands of light years could feasibly occur in mere seconds from our perspective. At velocities infinitesimally close to light speed. The trip might even feel instantaneous to us. Yet, for observers on Earth, millennia could elapse during our brief voyage, a stark reminder of relativity's asymmetric nature. Length contraction is undeniably real, though observing it visually proves challenging due to the interplay with light propagation. Consider passing a planet's orbit at relativistic speeds. From our view, the planet approaches rapidly 
its diameter contracted in our direction of motion. However, recall that distant observations peer into the past. Life on the planet's far side travels a longer path to reach us than from its near side. Thus, we see the rear as it was further in the past. This temporal lag counteracts the contraction visually. Instead of appearing squashed, the planet seems rotated as if tilted toward us. This is the Terrell Penrose rotation we've encountered earlier, a perceptual shift where contraction manifests as a change in perspective. Similarly, lateral views of nearby objects which show edges shortened in the motion direction, interpretable as either pure contraction or rotational distortion. An external observer watching our ship zoom by wouldn't perceive it as flattened, but rather as rotated upon itself. The contraction masked by the relativity of simultaneity in light arrival times. As acceleration mounts, our forward field of view continues to narrow dramatically, intensifying in brightness ahead while plunging into utter darkness astern. Inevitably, one wonders, could prolonged acceleration eventually propel us to the speed of light? What spectacles would unfold at that threshold? This query strikes at relativity's core, and the answer is unequivocal. No. Despite constant thrust, we'll never attain light speed. The speed of light, denoted c, is an absolute invariant, unchanging regardless of reference frame. Pursue a light ray as you might. From your perspective, it perpetually recedes at c. Accelerate indefinitely, and while earthbound observers might see you asymptotically approach c in your inertial frame, you remain at rest with light forever outpacing you at the same unyielding velocity. This invariance renders surpassing, or even equaling, see strictly impossible in vacuum. At best, our vessel accelerates eternally, our vista compressing into an infinitely luminous pinpoint forward, encircled by abyssal blackness. Near sea, optical aberrations reach extremes, overtaking forward light, Rays funnels them head-on, while rearward rays lag irretrievably. In our frame, the universe flattens into a razor-thin pancake, traversable in instants. To terrestrial eyes, we'd blur at light speed. To us, we'd streak infinitely swift, the cosmos a fleeting blur. In summation, nothing traverses space faster than light, a cosmic speed limit etched into nature's laws. Yet, Loopholes might exist, not by defying the limit, but by sidestepping it. General relativity reveals space-time as malleable, capable of expansion or contraction exceeding C, as observed in the universe's inflationary epochs or distant galactic recessions. Thus, envision engineering a bubble of warped space-time enveloping our ship, a warp drive, echoing sci-fi tropes like Star Trek's warp engines. Here, the vessel doesn't propel through space at superluminal speeds. Instead, space itself warps, contracting ahead and expanding behind, ferrying the bubble faster than light while the ship idles locally below sea. Externally, such a drive might materialize abruptly from void, space-time's curvature acting as a dynamic lens bifurcating light paths, one lobe advancing, the other recoiling oppositely. Light, slower than the warp, lags. Pre-passage rays arrive post-crossing alongside fresher emissions, yielding doubled or phantom images. From within, the vista transforms eerily. Forward sky compresses and blazes. Rearward view dims to near blackness. A conical swath of cosmos vanishes entirely. Invisible, as light from those regions can't overtake the expanding bubble. The universe ahead might streak into a tunnel of blue-shifted fury, while a stern, red-shifted void swallows stars. Alas, realizing a warp drive demands exotic negative mass energy to sustain the curvature. Matter with repulsive gravity, unobserved in nature, and potentially unstable per quantum mechanics. Mathematical models persist, tantalizing with possibilities. Hawking radiation sheens at bubble edges, gravitational lensing arcs distorting galaxies, or causality warping glimpses of alternate timelines. Though presently unattainable, these speculations illuminate general relativity's elegance, inviting us to ponder a universe where bending reality 
might unlock interstellar realms, all while honoring light supremacy. Our hypothetical odyssey, from acceleration's illusions to warp's wonders, reveals relativity not as constraint, but as the profound architecture of existence. If you like this information, please hit the like and subscribe button for more information. Thanks for watching.